Here we are estimating the firm's weighted average cost of capital, or its WAC. Um, this is the discount rate that we oftentimes use to calculate a project's NPV. And so the WAC formula, very generally, is a weighted average of the uh, costs of the firm's various capital components. In this particular case, we've got two classes of capital providers. So we've got bonds and stocks, so the WAC is going to have two components. Starting with the debt, we've got the weight of the debt, so that's WD, times RD, that's the cost of debt. And since interest payments are tax deductible, we multiply this whole term by one minus the tax rate. So that's the debt component. Now going to the equity component, it's going to look similar. WE, which is the weight of the equity, times RE, which is the cost of equity. Um, so first things first, let's 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 deal with the weights. The weights are always going to be based on the market values of the two components. And so we can quickly, with the information uh, given here, calculate those uh, th those two market values and uh, the weights. So we'll get started with that uh, first. So the debt, cap D, that's going to be the market value of the debt. That is going to be the uh, market, or, I'm sorry, it's going to be the par value of the debt times the price as a percentage of par. So we've got 398 million, so I'll leave everything in millions, and we're going to multiply that by 1.047, since, again, the price of the debt is 104.7% of par. So the total market value of the debt is 416.706. Similar calculation for equity. What's the market value of the equity? Well, so the equity, uh, we have a market price of 28 per share and 39 million shares outstanding. So 39 times 28 equals 1092. So we'll use those to calculate WD and WE. So WD is market value of the debt divided by total market value of the firm. That's 0.2762. WE is market value of the equity divided by total market value of the firm. That's 0.7232. Eight, so there's WD and WE. Now we can go back to our original equation. We'll write that down here. Insert our components, and we should have it. So the WAC is equal to WD. That's 0.2762 times cost of debt. So the cost of debt is the yield to maturity on the firm's bonds. Now that's a pre-tax number, so we're going to multiply by 1 minus the tax rate. And then we'll deal with the equity component. So the equity component is the weight of equity, 0.7238 times our estimate of the cost of equity. And so here we're going to have a, an estimate that's coming from the cap M, 13.7%. And our estimate of the WAC is 0.1149. So there's our answer. There's the discount rate that we would use to calculate an NPV.